Hey guys, what's going on? It's N7 Dundee here with another Warface breakout video. This video is a little different. This video we're going to be talking about the latest update that is due to come out on Wednesday the 1st of July. Personally, it's just going to be a little rant because the game is not fixed. The game has been out now for over a month. came out on the 26th of May and it's still nowhere as far as what it was when it first came out. We're still in the same place. So they need to really pull the finger out, get the hit render sorted, get the lag spike sorted, and just stop with all the uh, minor fixes on sounds, on stupid things that they're doing. Because if I'm perfectly honest, at the moment the game's unplayable. I don't play it. I'd like to play it, but I don't play it. Until they fix the lag spikes and the hit renders, I'm just not playing the game. I don't see the point. I play the game, I'm shooting people, they're not dying, they're turning around and they're one shot at me. I don't see the point in playing a game where you just cannot seem to kill them by hit rends. Don't see the point. So, but we're going to we're going to look at the uh, the patch notes of what they're saying and uh Let's see what they're saying. So, they're important notice. So I agree with this one. I do agree with this one. Killing teammates in free fire mode no longer applies a penalty. I 100% agree with that. It has happened to me in the past. When it first brought out ranked, I killed some people as I was mucking about as we normally do. And then I got kicked. I killed them twice and then I killed them once by mistake in the game. And I got booted out of the game. And I couldn't play for, I think it was 15 minutes. But it was purely accidental on the third time. But the penalty happened because you couldn't team kill in Free Fire. Which, obviously, it's Free Fire. You should be allowed to kill in Free Fire. So, I'm glad that they fixed that. That's one thing. Okay, I'll put my hand up to be fixed. But the next part that they're going on about is sound improvements. I don't understand why they're doing sound improvements. They need to be focusing on the lag spikes and the hit renders. Knife hit sounds have been added. Who cares about knife hit sounds? Personally, I don't care. I don't use a knife very often, so it doesn't bother me. Some people might want to hear different knife hit sounds or whatever, I don't know. But why? Why are they focusing on this? Reduce the volume of far away combat sounds. Again, why are they focusing on that? I don't see why they're focusing on these stupid little things when the game has some major issues in it. Time left phrase is no longer played when the bomb is planted. Again, that's another thing. Who cares about that? I don't. I just want to be able to play the game. As soon as they fix the game, I can come back. Wardens and Reapers of taking the lead phrase has been removed. I mean, again, these like I don't care about this. I don't care about this. I want to be able to play the game, not care about stupid phrases and things like that. If they want to have phrases in it, have phrases in it. But don't be working and dealing with these small issues when there is a large issue still to be fixed. Change sides. Announcement is now played at the beginning of a new round. Change sides. Announcement is now played at the beginning of new rounds. So what? So every time there's a, a change side, there's an announcement now played. That's that. So what? There's already been that announcement. So why do we need to have more? Okay. So interface improvements. C4 indicator is now better visible of players carrying a bomb. Okay. So sometimes that can be a bit of a pain. That's a, that, oh, I don't mind that one. That's okay. Impro improve the grenade throw visuals. I don't care about that. I thought the grenade was pretty fine the way it was. So they didn't need to be dealing with that. They could have been focusing on other things. Uh, it's now possible to preview your scope in the customize menu. I mean, some people might want to see that. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. That's fine. It's a decent little thing they've looked at. So server ping can now be browsed in the scoreboard interface. 
So people, all, basically, people can see what the ping is when they're in the uh, the scoreboard. I don't really see what the difference that's going to make to the game. If it's still got lag spikes, then ser seeing server pings is not going to make a difference. It's just going to, personally, I think it's just going to wind you up even more. So, uh, what's this? So, players with voice chat switched off or without a microphone are disabled with a disabled mic icon in the scoreboard interface. Who cares about that? So if they've not got their microphone or that, you get an icon, another icon added to the menu. So you can see who's got their mic either muted or in party or switched off or whatever. Who cares about that? This, this is not an essential fix. Play button is now marked as unavailable. If someone in the squad is banned and ranked or cannot access ranked for any other reason, e.g. doesn't have PlayStation Plus. I mean... Fair play to that one because if someone's been kicked out for uh, team killing or anything like that, then fine, okay, that one I can kind of get on board with. But bug fixes. Added localized, oh, added localization for rank eleven. Again, that that to me, I don't care about that. It's not fixing the problem in the game. The game needs an actual fix. Enough of this posing around, doing stupid minor fixes, fix the actual game, fix the lag spikes, fix the hit renders, I want to play. Until they do this, I will not play the game. I'm tired of playing it and getting hit shots on people, not killing them and then just turning around and one tapping me in the face. They have to deal with the big issues and not be doing minor fixes that don't do anything to the game. Next, the avatars are now sorted properly in the profile menu. Who cares about that? The avatars, personally, aren't the best. Some might be okay, some aren't. But who cares about fixing avatars? We want the game to work. We don't want you to fix avatars. Add localizations for rank 11. Fine, deal with that. Please just fix the game so we can all play. I want to play it. I started off really loving the game when it first came out. I have so much high expectations for this game. I want to play it. But until they fix the minor lag spikes and the hit render, and even the drop frame rates when you're being shot at, I am not going to play. So, what do you guys think of the latest patch? Uh, do you agree with... Uh, what I've said, do you uh, think that they should be focusing on the major issues at play, which is the hit render, lag spikes, and FPS? Uh, leave your comments below, and I will uh, see you all next time.